Roland Latender spends a lot of his time at Floating Stone Lake. Last spring while fishing, he noticed something a bit bigger than a fish. I was trolling past here and I saw this yellow thing in the water and I'm going, well, what is that? Latender found a car. RCMP say the car went through the ice in November 2023 while its two passengers were ice fishing. The car is currently damaging the habitat. Uh, it's not good for the fish and it's not good for the people, the humans that use the lake. So Latender's next move was getting the ball rolling on getting the car out. But that's proven more difficult than he anticipated. When I called the RCMP, they said call the County of St. Paul. I called the County of St. Paul. They said call the RCMP. It's just, it's a ping pong game. It's back and forth. The RCMP says because the car is not involved with the crime, it's not their responsibility. The County of St. Paul said the car was reported to them in June, but they aren't the governing body for the lakes. That would be the province. The Ministry of Environment and Protected Areas say it falls under forestry and parks. In a statement to Global News, they say they're working on a plan to remove the car. Details on how and when the removal will take place are still being determined. I think the province is dropping the ball on this one. I mean, uh, there should be something in place for incidents like this. Latender would like to see a standard operating procedure province-wide because after almost a year, he worries about the future of fishing here. If you were to crash your car off a bridge in the city of Edmonton, it would go, it would be on a hook and out of the water within a few hours. But because it's a rural area, nobody cares. Jasmine King, Global News.